Welcome to Graphic Element, where you can explore your imagination. Hello guys, welcome yet to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a dispersion uh, splatter effect similar to the one you have on the screen. And I'll be guiding you through step by step on how it's done. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is open a new file. Click on File New. Set up your background layer. I've already done that. And open whatever image you'd like to uh, use for this effect. I decided to use this one. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate the layer. So left click, click on duplicate. We're gonna layer this. We're gonna name this layer two. And we're gonna hide the previous layer. To hide the previous layer, you just click on the eye icon. And you see the hairs, the layer is hidden. We're gonna take this layer and we're gonna expand it and make it really big. But we want to use liquify instead of the transformer tool. So just go to filter, liquify, or just click on shift control X on your keyboard and it will open liquify. Sorry, my computer is a bit slow. Make sure that your brush size is well adjusted and your brush pressure. I'm gonna choose uh, 500 for my brush size and just stretch whatever side of the image, part of the image you, you want. We're gonna be stretching a lot of the left side of the image actually as far as we can as, as, as wide as as we can I'm gonna let me quickly change it and put it slightly more than 800 And just keep stretching until you satisfy until everything's big. When you're done, you can simply click OK, which is right there on the right side of the screen And when you're done, you're gonna have something very similar to this. So now what we wanna do is duplicate this layer as well. So we're gonna left click, go to duplicate. We're gonna name this layer three. And we're gonna take layer three and move it slightly to the left. To open this, just simply click on control T and hold shift as you move it to the left hold out to increase the size on both ends equally keep going keep going and 
click the check all right there it comes now we're gonna move layer one up above it all put exactly in order layer two second and layer three last so look like this what we want to do now is use the brush and add a and add a control mask to all this layer a layer mask I mean sorry there's a layer mask just click on add a layer mask See, it, as I go near it it says add layer mask click on it and we're gonna do the same to all three layers oh, sorry. gonna do the same to all three layers and we're gonna we want to hide the last two layers you want to click on the layer mask and now we're gonna add a brush to hide half of the left side of the body make sure you have a splatter brush to do that just download it from Google or any other place you can uh, you can find And make sure you can uh, tweak it by changing the size and also open the brush palette to change the angle to whichever angle you feel satisfied and also uh, bear in mind that the angle will have an effect uh, will change the effect of this image so for this design also choose different type of brushes to play around with it more brushes the more brush you choose the better Ultimately you have this after you're done using your brushes. Alright now we wanna hide this layer by clicking on the icon and wanna show the second layer. What we're gonna do to this layer is different. We're gonna hide this layer and we're gonna show it bit by bit. So you want to click on control and I things right and we're going to go again to our brush and put little tiny brush this that uh splatter such like this see we're gonna we want to show bits by bits like that so uh, let's actually show that Gonna open the brush palette. Gonna change that angle a little bit. Yeah, this looks good.
and when you're done you're gonna have basically this so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy this exact layer mask to the third layer so just hold alt and drag it and it asking you to replace the layer mask click yes and there you go and if you open the third one you can see they both have the same effect we're gonna hide uh, some of the stuff here we're gonna erase actually we can just leave it like this this is a this is very perfect so basically we're done we're done with this tutorial and this is how you get a dispersion uh, Photoshop effect to your design thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time